Good morning, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We have snow, we have hail, we have rain, thunder, everything together. And I'm so filled with happiness and joy this morning because I have been waiting for it. And when it came, I was so excited. But I was just so amazed again because a friend yesterday, when I texted her that we're waiting for snow, Lena from Florida, she said, oh, it's so beautiful here. And so it's a calm, beautiful day in Florida. And then another friend, Dora from Singapore, she said, snow, it is so hot here in Singapore. And then a friend from Amsterdam, Susan, she said, Oh, it's minus 13 here. No big deal. They're in snow all the time in Amsterdam, Holland. But I just was reminded today that the seasons in our lives, because we are so connected in the body of Christ, we can know that some are in winter, some are in spring, some are in the fall, some are in the summer, and they are already in the eating the fruits that they have worked so hard for all through the year but some are going through winter and it is difficult what we're living through with the situations in our lives but we know god made the seasons and the seasons will change these also will come to pass over and over we read in the word of god and it came to pass because it's gonna pass but our god stays the same and as I was reading this morning in chapter 14, and I am still in Matthew 14 because I love this chapter. I stay in the Old Testament and I stay in the New Testament because I love to be in the life of Jesus all the time. And then the Old Testament reminds me of who our God is and how he did in the Old Testament. He's the same God in the New Testament. And when I was in chapter 14 and I began to read and it was... I went back to verse 14 and it says, Jesus went forth, saw the great multitude and was moved with compassion. This is our Jesus Christ who is moved with compassion towards them, towards us. And then it said, and he healed their sick. Every time they came to him, he met their needs. And this is the God that Paul the Apostle wrote in Philippians 4, 19. For my God shall supply all all you needs according to his riches in glory and when i went to matthew chapter 6 jesus said in chapter 6 seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you take therefore no thought for your tomorrow and then in chapter 7 verse 7 jesus said again Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find and knock and the door will be opened unto you. But I saw something in the disciples and before we point fingers at them, let's think about our own lives, how we do this. And in the same chapter, the next verse, when it was evening, after all these miracles and the disciples are standing there looking at Jesus doing all these miracles, and it doesn't say what kind of sicknesses, but he healed their sick. They didn't see just one. They saw many, many people get healed. The next verse, it says, they, they came to Jesus and they said, this is a desert place. Send the time, send the multitude away because the time is now past and they may go into the villages and they may buy themselves victuals. And they came to Jesus instead of asking the Lord Jesus, what shall we do now? These people are hungry. They gave the Lord their own ideas. Send them away. Let them go to the villages. Let them buy their own food. And this is what we do when we come with prayers sometimes. We are telling the Lord what we think he should do. When the Lord knew already what he was going to do, God already has the plan. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plan. The Lord says, I have for you. He has plans for you and I, and they are good plans and not evil. But he wants us to ask because they came not asking him. They were telling him, send them away. Let them go by. And Jesus said unto them, they need not depart. 
give you them to eat. Jesus already knew what he was going to do, but he wanted to show them what an amazing, miracle-working God he is. And when they realized what they had, they brought it to him. Jesus did the miracle after five loaves and the two fish, and he fed thousands. Let's remember today that when we come to the Lord, Jesus said, ask. Your heavenly father knows what you need, but you need to ask him. And he is the one that will supply our needs, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, everything we need. We can come to the Lord today in prayer, asking him for miracles in our lives, because without him, we can do nothing. Be blessed today.